Yeah, so if you guys follow us on social media, you will see and we posted some videos of uh, your former coach, uh, Kelvin Sampson. He's giving you a lot of praise. He said, I don't like making bold statements, but I can safely say Caleb is the best offensive player I've recruited since I've been here. How was your time being coached uh, by Coach Sampson at Houston? And do you notice any similarities between him and Coach Ham here at FSU? Um, well, my game uh, going there, I feel like I wouldn't have gotten help in that aspect anywhere else. So I'm glad I did go there. You know, that made me tougher. Uh, I was kind of skilled going into it, like a skilled offensive player, but that taught me uh, to be an all-around player. I got a guard. I got a rebound. And, uh, but uh, the, similar, the similarities between Coach Ham and, and Coach Gell is not, like, it's not close. Coach, uh, Coach Gell, he got, like, five to him. And, uh, Coach uh, Ham, he just real laid back. Really just go with flow for real. Yeah, so Coach Sampson said the first time he saw you play, you had 37 on 14 attempted shots. That's some ridiculous efficiency, which is one of the things that's very important for the next level. Some of the things he said about you was your ability in space, your ISO game, and your strong three-point shooting skills. How did AAU help you progress as a player, and are there any noticeable differences between high school ball and AAU? Uh, well, I feel like AAU is, is kind of – messing up the game for a lot of people, you know, because they're just – some games is real bad. But it's – whenever you watch high-level AAU tournaments, that's whenever you can tell. Like, it's, it's a difference. But uh, AAU really uh, – it's just everybody really fighting. They starve for a spot and trying to get to college, so. Yeah, absolutely. So, we asked former FSU kicker Ricky Aguayo and also current Cincinnati Red Matthew Nelson this question as it also pertains to their respective sports. But as an offensive scoring threat, what's it like to get hot? You know, maybe you hit the uh, the heat check to the heat check. Both the benchers are like, oh, my goodness. And the crowd's up. They're engaged. And you realize running down the court, holy shit, the rim is the size of the ocean. Anything I'm putting up is going in. Could you take us through that type of mindset and how you still find a way play within the game when you're in a zone like that? Uh, even in those moments, I still try to be you know, selfish. So if, uh, I, when I remember the game that y'all were talking about when I had 37, 14 attempts, uh, Coach, Kel, Coach Kel, he called me after the game and told me I had passed some open shots up. So, like, if it was a, a swing-swing opportunity, I always make that. So I, I still play within the game regardless if I'm hot or not. So 